Hello everyone, this is CypherDeck, and today we're back in EverQuest Project 1999 on flip sides, and we're going to do a walkthrough of Seb. It's actually a pretty easy zone, but if you've never been here or don't know the camp names, then I can understand that it might be a little bit difficult whenever you first get here. As you come into the zone, you'll have several mobs here, two at the front, two in this corner over here and over there. Same for two here and then two at the bottom of this ramp. Lead into three mobs over here. One is going to be right here, another here, and then the last one is going to be around here. Now we're going to go from right, or I'm sorry, left to right. And um, by the way, through here is where you exit the zone. This is one of two exits that I know of, and it will take you right back to the outside of Seb. So we'll go ahead and go right into here. You'll see the see-through uh, teleporter, and it'll take you right out. It's a little bit hard, but if you have um, a DA, uh, if you're a cleric, uh, it's pretty simple. Right here is the staging ground or the middle of uh, this area. This is called NG. You have two or three bugs that you'll pull. Plus you have uh, roaming um, frogs. Plus these two are usually pulled and anything else that they can get a hold of depending on how fast they're killing. Over here, this is going to be called Disco. This area that we're going down to. And... Through Disco, there is another area called Disco 2, and you can pull several different names. Instead of saying all the different names, because I honestly don't have them completely memorized, what I'll do is as we go into a room, I will go ahead and have something pop up on the screen like right now to show you that there is a name that spawns right here on this platform. So once you come in here, uh, you'll come over to this right side and into this room where you usually have a scarab and two other mobs. This will be usually the place that you camp for Disco 1. And this is going to, to encompass all of these mobs, these mobs, and mobs in here as well, this one. Now, this area can lead on, if you want to, into the next area, but this next area is what we would consider Disco 2. You have two mobs on the right and left. You have a necromancer who is always in here. And you also have the library over here. You have two mobs up there, a mob here, and then a mob there, as well as a roamer. Here is a invis door or a fake door, which leads to an area here, which could be a staging room, but it's not very safe here. Uh, we've died by pulling to that room before. And in this last area, right there where that golem is, is a name as well. Again, all the names should be popping up on the screen, I, I hope, <laughs> if I do everything correctly. So now we're going to go ahead and go back to the hallway and continue going down. Through this door and to the left, you'll have a named that spawns here. And he is up, the Pickler. You also have another named over on this side who spawns in here. And then this area right behind this area is actually a safe room. So if for some reason you want to camp down here or anything, as far as I know, there are no roamers to this area. I sat down here for a good 20 minutes and never saw a mob come through. That said, you have to make sure that you control all your mobs in this area as if they get too close to the walls, they will fall through down to the shrooms and well, that's not good. So let's go ahead and move back over to the to NG and we'll go to the next area. The next area that we're going to is what you would call a money camp, a camp that is specifically all about making money and getting more expensive loots. 
and that is CE. CE stands for Crypt and Emperor. So that is something that if you come here and you're not a rogue, say you're a cleric and you're replacing another cleric, a lot of times they will ask you to go ahead and die and the rogue who's in the group will come up and drag your corpse all the way down. Once you get to here, um, don't forget there is a mob up there and uh, we'll go ahead and go through this door. By the way, this is a locked door. So if you know how to use the eye stalks or the, uh, the beads to trick the door to open, then you can do that. You have all undead in this area. You can go left or right. Either way is fine. And then you'll turn in depending on which way you go. And you'll come down to where the crypt is. And the crypt is a very good place to camp. You have four names in this area. You have a mob that will spawn here and over on the other side. And as you'll see, these guys are actually pulling different mobs. Honestly, that's an odd mob to make a pet, seeing that they are keeping that mobs from spawning as a named. So you have four names that spawn in these rooms. If they are not the name, then they spawn as the skeletal version. If you come over this way, as they are going, hopefully they don't pull a caster, uh, you'll come over to another door, which is for the Emperor. You're going to have two mobs that spawn at the door, and that's kind of why they're probably staying here. Oh, there's Nybris. Hey, Nybris. <laughs> then you come through here. Again, it requires a key. And in this area here where this uh, bowl is or crypt, whatever you want to call it, this is where the blood of Chottle spawns, I know that for a fact, and an elemental skeleton. Through this door, you will have the Emperor, who spawns at the very back, two mobs on the right side, two mobs on the left side. They are probably wondering, what the heck am I doing in this area? But I'll let Nybris know once I'm done. So once you have gone there, you'll go back over to where the Crip is, wait for mobs to spawn, and you continue the cycle until you get the items that you are looking for. There are safe places here if you decide that you want to only stay down here. One of them, actually the, the only one that I know of, is over on this side next to this pile here. If you stand right behind this pillar, the uh, clay guardian will uh, stay right over there. He will not see you. And this guy, because he's so far away, he won't see you or attack you either. So with that, let's go ahead and move back to NG and start heading over to what they call ABC. So the zone, again, is really good. ABC is another experience area. Uh, where NG is money, uh, oddly, it's good experience, but you usually see only one or two people camping it just because there are bugs that drop gems, and that's pretty much what people do. I was in a group earlier with a shaman, and he was just soloing the bugs. He allowed us to join, but uh, he ended up keeping the loot, which was perfectly fine. I'm only 52. I shouldn't be in the zone anyway. So I was, I was perfectly fine with that. And you'll see here, that's what they're doing. So it's an enchanter. It looks like maybe a cleric and, um, and also a paladin. So we're going to go ahead and head over this way. And we're going to go across this bridge now. ABC has a lot of mobs. Uh, it actually has a lot of mobs going down to it. If you are a rogue in the zone and you're walking to an area, make sure that if a group is fighting to take care of what they're fighting. If they're fighting a wizard or a caster, probably don't go past them. Wait for them to finish that. Sorry for the interruption. I forgot to add the prison into the video. So here it is with the loot. So I later on also say something about the prison being down below near the king. Of course, that is not correct. And I do apologize. 
let's go ahead and continue the video fight before you move on because if you don't you'll get hit by the aoe it will make you come unhidden and you will end up dying so there's two ways into abc there's this way and then there is if you go straight over this way we're going to go in this way just because i'm more comfortable with this area and if you go to the right you'll see over here there's already someone here this is where most people will camp him you'll have a room that goes back over here it goes to a window i believe where there's two spawns let's just double check <laughs> yes so there's that and then there's a room that if you go to the right from this area so if we go over here and go into the right you'll see um, that you have mobs that spawn on the left right as well as two that usually are pathers in here one that's up here and these uh, two doors as well this is usually where abc is but it can be split into multiple camps there you go another mob over here and then there's another larger area over on this side plus you have a bottom section that goes through the back and we'll go there next again hopefully i'm doing it right and everything is being posted to where any names are in the zone but you'll see over here by the way there are several different kinds of frogs in the zone the krupp are a very strong kind of um, mob caster specifically their wizards are deadly ice comets and whatnot but there's another kind called the illis and those are even worse and you'll usually find those uh, further down into the zone so we're going to come down into here and this is the last room of this area so there's that and then we're going to leave out the direction that we did not come into the zone or into this area at so you can see that as well symbol all those these symbols around come into here and this leads out i believe and oh i just come out the way that i said i wasn't going to come out let's go this way just so i can show you it as well so two mobs usually here one on this side and one on this side maybe it's a roamer i don't i don't really know uh then you come into here one mob one mob right there this is where i think it leads into the bar oh a little bit of lag there So one two three and then this leads to the bar <laughs> again abc is one of those areas yeah here we are and then this leads all the way back down to where we were so abc a camp i've never really done very much and if i was here it was on a cleric which means i was probably not paying attention to where mobs were being pulled from so shoot me <laughs> all right so i'm gonna go ahead and get back to ng uh you all know the way there and then we're gonna go ahead and head down into the bottom of the zone okay so here we are back at ng and we're gonna go ahead and drop down now you can go either way you can go that direction or this direction both of them lead to an oval in the water and i go ahead and throw on my um iv or not iv but my indoor breath even though it's only going to take me to here come down into this tunnel here and this here is going to be the same as the other side the only difference is they're flipped around i believe this area is actually called the jail because you have these over here and then over on the other side you have the exact same thing come down into the water and you go around and you'll see that both sides meet here in the center where we're gonna go ahead and move up now again if people are fighting here and you're a rogue specifically 
do not f- go past the people that are fighting. Don't go near people who are killing for the king. Uh, you can mess them up, things like that. But one of the places that a lot of people or some people that I've met pull to is here, the brain room. They'll pull the king to here. Um, and then if uh, everything goes disastrous, then they'll just run over to here. Right where we're seeing these guys. And they will actually uh, pull to this area, which is where the other portal is to get out of the zone. So they are killing what is called the king. And I really do not want to interfere with them or get near them. But over there, where that adept is, is where reavers, adepts, and other um, shrooms spawn. But mostly that is where the king spawns. A lot of people will just levitate like this guy is and pull him over to the room. The problem is, is that there are a lot of pathers in this area. And you'll see here a pather. And we're not going to show you the whole area. We're not going to show you the, the whole, um, just making sure I know where I am, the whole maze that this that this place is because it is literally a maze that that leans all around but if we go i believe and stay along this wall we'll get to an area oh it's right down here i think it is just trying to, i want to show you show it to you um, so, you know that there are two ways to get over to the next area, which is Jugs. And I am not seeing it. I uh, must have passed it. Let's go ahead and go back. This is it. So, what you can do is you can levitate uh, over to this rock and you can jump over into this area here actually you can just jump over to this area anyway this leads to jugs uh, but there is also another way that you can go which is over this way so either way jugs is not that hard to get to uh, we're going to go ahead and go down here and this is one of the areas that if you don't have anyone to teleport you out then do not come past this point because this door has to be uh, locked or it has to, you have to use a pick lock you can click this and it'll open it and we're about to find out if i'm going to be locked here for a while <laughs> uh, i'm going to let that door close this is the scariest thing about this whole thing come on close it's gonna wait until that uh spins oh boy this is the only part that I dread right now. Yep. I am now locked here. That was fantastic of me. Yay. <laughs> okay. Well, either way, I am now locked here. Um, I can, though, if I make sure to uh, die right here, I will be able to get my corpse back out. So I'm not really worried about it. So, again, jugs. If you can't tell, this is Jugs, <laughs> the whole area. Um, there's an invis wall, or I call them invis wall, but it's a wall that you can pass through. You want to make sure that whenever you come through here, and this is where I'm going to have to test my memory, you go to the right, and then you stay to the right. You don't go through any extra areas, like that that hole back there you just stay to the right and you'll come to this bridge so this is where jugs leads to trackanon and if you get right up here uh, hopefully trackanon won't be up you, people call this hill right here they call it poop hill and this is where most people uh, will cough into, is right up there. And over there, you'll see Tolja is up. 
Let's go ahead and click them. Yep, there you go. Told you, pum, pajum. Either way, he drops uh, several different items, but the one that he's most known for is the robe that has 36% haste for uh, enchanter pets. So, very nice. Um, <laughs> should be conning these guys because I have not conned uh, these mobs yet. Okay, none of these see, see me. And tracking on is not up, so I should be perfectly fine, and I don't see a undead bard. So uh, yeah, so this is where tracking on spawns. Uh, big old civilite protector. He uh, drops the um, the poison wind sensor for sure. But yeah, this is my run of Seb, and now I'm gonna go kill myself. I'll I'll do it on. I'll, we'll do it. I'm going to double check that door before I do, though. Um, but, yeah, this is Sebelus from front to back. I don't know if there's any areas that I missed that you feel that I should have shown. Please let me know. But uh, we're going to go test this door real quick. And if I can't get out, I'm going to let you guys watch me die. For funs. For fun. Fun things. Okay, so I tried to find every way I could to get out of here, but, yeah, well, as you saw, it didn't work. So it's time for me to die. <laughs> a good death. A strong death. Against the door, of course, so I can always pull my course back out. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. This is Cypher Deck. Peace out.